Hello, my friends, and welcome back to our blind let's play of House of Ashes. My name is Flatlisper, this is your Stories Gaming Channel, and we're playing on Lethal Difficulty, which means I'm probably going to get everyone killed. <laughs> Salim, Sand Caverns. 1904 hours. <coughs> and very in depth. This is Lieutenant Salim Othman to all units. Please respond with the locations over. Where are you? Is Captain. this dang thing even on? Dar. Captain? Dar? Is that you? I can't hear you. Repeat your message over. Captain! Zift. How is it the one word you know in English is that word? <laughs> Well, I knew Captain, so. Dar. Is that this man? Dar, if you can hear me, I'm in and, a. Uh, I don't know. know. Some sort of cave? I'm looking for a way out. Over. Dang it. We grew up with the Allied Forces search runs. I have plans today. A long bath, listen to a little radio, celebrate my son's birthday. But no, 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 you had to come knocking on my door. The Americans are coming, you said. <laughs> and now look where we are. Whatever the heck this place is. Hello, is anybody there? Hello, is anybody there? God, this is creepy. Do we still have... Yeah, we have our flashlight still. Let's go ahead and use that, shall we? Kind of slows us down, but I'd rather not rush. Are these military tunnels? Ooh. Was that gunshots or was that just? Is anybody out there? Speak to me. Y'all hear that rumbling? That thing is loud. What the? Look at the blood on the ground. By the way, if you haven't already, make sure you set the mood. I, um,. I will sometimes watch this uh, other YouTuber. I think it's Christopher Odd who says it. He basically says, you know, when you play a game like this, uh, a horror game or a suspenseful game, uh, put on your headphones and just allow yourselves to be immersed in the atmosphere of the game. Uh, I think I remember him saying that when he did Layers of Fear. I don't remember watching the... Uh, uh, the playthrough, but I remember him saying that at the beginning because I was watching uh, his XCOM playthrough and what happened was uh, it went to the next video, which was House of Fear or Layers of Fear something like that. See, I don't know the name, but I remember him saying that and it stuck with me. Oh, I don't want to do this. This is why I've been talking so much because I don't want to do this. Oh. Just great. That does not look good. What hell visited you, my friend? Look at those eyes and the mouth. I mean, this person died in absolute fear. Yeah, the blood trail. Whatever killed him. What's with that big pool of blood down there, though? Ooh. All right, we got a flashlight on. God, I hope they don't make us have batteries for our flashlights. Oh, is it? Oh, we lost. Dang it, my rifle. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot what game we were playing. No joke. 
I literally forgot that this game is all about things like that. Man, that was dumb. I had all day to hit that too. I'm upset at myself now. Oh, I just said I hope they don't have the other's money. Can anyone hear me out there? Over? I just said I hope they don't make us have batteries for our rifle, and guess what they did? They got rid of our rifle! I mean, I guess on one hand, we don't have to worry about batteries, but on the other hand, I want my rifle back! <sighs> Can't examine the blood trail. I hope these cells don't cave in on me. Who's there? I am too afraid to move. All right, let's go. What is that, L1? Oh, oh, hello. We do have a light. I mean, it's not a flashlight, but I mean, it's uh, it's definitely something. What is this? Is that a sort of urn? And those look like... Look at the level of detail on this thing. One of the kings, no no doubt. The people believe that the uh, the Mesopotamian kings were chosen by the gods. So here you have the uh, part of the angelic wings symbolizing that. Or that may be a god himself. Hello? Oh, I don't want to go forward. I can't see side to side. I know this ain't a first person shooter, but it kind of feels like a first person shooter, right? Or a third person shooter. You know, like Resident Evil. All these noises everywhere. Ah, that's great. Yeah, let's never do that again. Um, are those claw marks? Zane would love to see this. No, I don't think Zane would love to see this. I really don't. Yeah, those look like giant claw marks. Okay, let's continue through the door then. I want to look around to see if I can find anything. I didn't see anything. Ah! Got it. I hate button mashing. It's really, really hard. There's an option where you can just like hold down the button instead of mashing it, but I think that's kind of cheating. Who's there? Oh no. Oh my god! Uh, no! Oh, no! Uh, uh, shut, 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 shut it. Square! 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 Stay with me, Allah. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What is that thing? Run! Jump, 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 jump! Jump! I couldn't get my gun the first time because I literally was... I literally got so scared, my controller left my hands for a moment. Oh 
What is that thing? What the hell are you? What do you want from me? Thank you, Lord. <laughs> oh. I know how you feel right now, buddy. Oh my God. What was that? It's like some sort of giant demon thing. Eric, sand caverns, 1906 hours, 62 feet deep. Oh, this whole damn place is about to come down. Uh, are, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm good. Did you see Sergeant K? Cold check? Last I saw, they were together. I tried. Something's interfering with the signal. That could be another way out. I don't know. Uh, reassuring. I got your back. You know I've got your back, Rage. Stay close, you'll be fine. I'm pretty good at looking after myself, Eric. It would seem so. <clears throat> really? She didn't Carabiners like me for saying that? Light. Shit. Okay. All good? All good. I was just trying to be considerate. Like, I know she can handle it, but I want her to know that I wasn't going to leave her aside. Man, don't have to get so pushy. Steep drop to nowhere. We've got rope. Hey, look. There's an airflow. I say we climb. Which means there's got to be a way out. Because the wind has to be coming from somewhere. So when did you start smoking? Excuse me? The lighter. It's nothing. Just something I picked up back at base. Are you ready? Are you? Nope. <laughs> but I guess we don't have a choice, do we? Place doesn't look much like a weapon silo to me. That's why we were attacked. You love that, wouldn't you? Then why were we attacked? If there's nothing down here, then why were we attacked? There's a war on. People tend to shoot each other. That's true. Just don't shoot me, okay? <sighs> I guess we could classify this as quality time. You and I always did have a different view on quality type. <laughs> it's like Hawkeye and uh, Black Widow. From the uh, first Avenger movie. Doesn't this remind you of old times, Rage? You mean the sense of feeling lost? Okay, she's going that way, which means we should probably go this way. Game logic 101. Always go off the beaten uh, path. Yep. Let's see what we got. Oh! Well, that's not good. Wait, that wasn't. That wasn't her that died. That was another body that was attached to her. Could that have been Eric? Uh, I would love to see this one more time, but I'm, I'm following my rules. I'll only watch it twice. Because the more you watch it, the more you see things. And uh, I don't want to sit here and just re-examine things over and over and over and over and over. By the way, the secrets we find, um, I may look at those at the end of the game. But I'm not going to look at them during the game. I'm going to try to keep the uh, uh, the narrative, you know, going. And then we can always look back at them later. 
Because when I played Until Dawn, I spent way too much time on the R1 screen just looking at things. Oh, we got cuneiform here. That is definitely cuneiform. Without a doubt. Although I am not... I am not... Linguistic in... Ancient Mesopotamian writing. Um, so I don't know what it means. It looks old. Old? It's ancient. Maybe that's cuneiform. Sumerian, maybe? It definitely is. What is this place? All right. You're quite the expert on history. Didn't realize. Yeah, I have my. Me as well as you think. I have my uh, positives. Not gonna say I'm an expert. But I do love ancient history. I need to play Valkyrie Profile one of these years. I know I played it before, but just like Shadow Hearts, it's a game that I could probably call blindish because it's been so long since I played it. It's just really expensive and it doesn't run well on emulation, so I need to try to find a copy somehow. Uh, Valkyrie Profile is an RPG using uh, Norse. Uh, mythology. Pretty cool. But my RPG list is already pretty long at the moment, so it'll be a while. The floor seems stable. Yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, 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 yeah it looks absolutely fine. Please tell me it's not a button press on this. First death thing coming in three, two, one. Nope. Okay. Whew. And what am I talking about? First death? There's already been what, like five deaths? I am horrible. Got a certain cool under pressure. Uh, after you left, I learned to deal with pressure. Hmm. Huh. Not really sure. What do you think this place is? Hard to say. These carvings look religious. I think we may be in a temple. Well, like I said, the kings were believed to be the um, messengers of the gods, and they actually lived in the ziggurats, which were the temples. What is this? It's Pazuzu. Pazuzu? Pazuzu who? Pazuzu. Do you not watch horror movies? Only a few of them. Do you know the answer to that? It's a Sumerian demon. Something to do with plagues, I think. Plagues and demons, huh? Great. Was it the movie Hereditary based on Pazuzu? I haven't seen the movie. I, I want to. Although I don't know if I can handle it. But I'm pretty sure I remember someone saying something about that. Great, that's all we need. Yeah, it looks like this door over there, but I want to check the hole. What is that? You didn't hear that? I didn't hear anything. I thought I heard something down there. I didn't see anything. Even in ruins, this place is still something special. Oh, I do hear it though. Oh, that was a bad idea to look back. Where's it coming from? <gasps> Should have gone through the door, Did flightless you know? bird. Should have gone through the door. Can you make anything out? That's it's deep. That looks safe to you? No, it doesn't. It's our only option. No, no, no. We're going down. No, 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 no. 
Not after seeing that, uh, that thing. Rachel tumbled. 1914 hours, depth 144 feet. Wow, look at this temple. I wish I could visit something like this. You know, not under these circumstances, of course. Unbelievable. I agree. We're not the first ones here. Damn it. All this crap must be what Kayla's detected. Sympathetic or frustrated? Uh sympathetic. Sorry, Eric. For real. You put everything into this research. More than you'll ever know. You can't blame yourself. I've messed up. Should have triple checked the data. Exhausted every possibility. But I'm so sure this was it. I understand what it meant to you, Eric. I'm so sorry. Assertive or tender? Tender. You've both made mistakes. The hell is that? Subsidence? From the aftershocks? I really hope that's all that is. This looks like archaeological gear. Somebody was studying this ruin. Hey, we could use those lamps. The light could guide the Marines to us. Do you think that still works? Only one way to find out. It'll work. Just needs gas. We need to find some. You know, this reminds me a lot of uh, the Indiana Jones game we played. Almost the exact Where same you? thing. I hope you're safe. Sorry? Did you say something? No. Nothing. No, nothing. No, no, no. I wasn't talking about the uh, the guy that I um, am like seeing because we've been separated for so long. You've got to see this. Look at that door. Bunch of glints over here. Oh, say, uh, I hope we can get this thing started. Cuneiform tablet. I've been cataloging these pieces. Somewhere. Who has? The, uh, the All Iraqis? All signs, this is King. Does anyone copy? Over. Fuck. That's a hell of a lot of fireworks. Yeah. So I'm planning on blowing this place up? This is King to all call signs. Are you receiving? Over. I mean, based on what we know of this place, I don't blame them for wanting to blow it up. Hey, we found gasoline, maybe? Eric, come give me a hand with these cans. About uh, time we had a little luck. <sighs> How's the lake holding up? Lake. Oh, you mean the prosthesis. I lost my leg back on the highway. Don't. They still feel guilty. I didn't know that. I didn't make it easy on you, Rach. I know that. You weren't to blame for that crash. Mom, let's get to work. A little cool. Oh, no! Uh, can we, um... Can we move faster, please? Shine a light on the tank. Oh no. What are these things? Ah, oh, 
shit. A leak. Of course. Fuel tube's worn loose. The damn valve is leaking. Can it be fixed? We have to secure the tube before starting the generator. There's gonna be something here to fix it. By the way, how awesome is the the echoes in this game? I'm beginning to think that even the Iraqis wouldn't find this place. Considering we're in a uh, you know a huge pit. It's a really nice attention to detail. Is that a machine gun? Eric, check this out. Why would there be a machine gun here? It's a World War II model. Ties in with the time the archaeologists were here. Huh. What the fuck happened here? They used it. Is this over here? Oh, that's the explosives. Never mind. I don't think you can move faster in this game, by the way. Is there a duct tape over here? There's a note. The Curse of a Cad by Aline Journal. Scholars regard the Curse of a Cat as fiction, an instrumental story that trains the Sumerians to endure famine, fate, and the whims of the gods. However, the discovery of this great temple hints at a new truth behind it. In the original tale, the god Enlil turns against King Narim Sin of Akkad. At first, the king is pious and penitent, praying for answers. But after seven years, the gods have given none. So Narim Sin decides to bring them to account. He raises an army and marches to the city of Nippur to sack Enlil's temple. The blasphemy is so great that Enlil, the roaring storm, enlists the gods against Naram Sin, sending the Gushians to raise Akkad to the ground, destroy its farms, and curse the people with famine. Actually, can I get that back? This temple... It was built to appease the gods. There is no historical record in Naram Sin demolishing the temple to Enlil. However, our finds here suggest the curse was based on actual events. King Naram Sin built this place to honor the gods. Many of our finds depict the king pleading to heaven to invite the gods back into the spiritual life of his people. That this temple was lost suggests this curse could not be broken. Hmm. We need to get these lights running ASAP. I can't see shit. Stuff in this tent. Another document. It's a journal. The Journal of Randolph Hodgson. September the 24th, 1945. When Lady Bradshaw summons you, you go. Mary and I were bound for a honeymoon. The chance to dine with one of Britain's finest antiquarians was too great for us to miss. When we met, Bradshaw wore a brooch that caught Mary's eye. A Sumerian relic recovered from a dig site in the Hashemite kingdom of Iraq. After dinner, she showed us another find from the same site. A gold cuneiform tablet. She called it the final puzzle piece in her life's work. A map that pinpoints the tomb of Alexander the Great. Oh, really? If she's right, the tomb lies somewhere on the border of Iraq. Lady Bradshaw wants us to lead her expedition. I realize now that our honeymoon will take place in a dusty dig site in the Sagros Mountains. Now that was cool. Instead of reading the uh, document. This place is starting to make me feel a little uneasy. They, they gave a news clip. Well, that was really neat. I like that. That's a cool change. The picture. Are these the diggers? The archaeologists? What happened to these guys? The Hodgson Expedition, October 1946. It's a photo of the archaeologists from 1946. How 
could something this vast have remained hidden for so long? How have I not found the duct tape yet? I mean, you would think that after all this looking, I would have found That's a tablet. I've already looked at the tablet. Something glinting down here. A couple things. Oh, that's a door. Seen that. Why would they do that? Look at this place. It doesn't add up. That's a lot of dynamite. They put dynamite on like multiple pillars. Come on, where is the duct tape at? Well, we haven't been up here yet, that's for sure. Is this his throne? I can't, ex I can't click on it though. Maybe something behind here? Do you think Stencom is aware of our situation? I'm hoping the pilots got word back. If any of them survive, that is. I'm pretty sure we're all alone. It's totally screwed. What do you think the rest of the squad are doing? They're tough. Each and every one of them. They'll muscle through. Maybe climbing out of the cavern back there would have been the smarter move. Is that the creature? It mentions echolocation. Is this something to do with bats? What is it? Symptoms? Characteristics, maybe? That's exactly interesting. Sure. That means if we're silent, we should be able to dodge these things. Autopsy findings. Blind. Uses echolocation to hunt. Unintelligible, hypersensitivity, skin, highly resistant to physical trauma. So, um, it's not going to, it means we can't really use weapons very well against them. Clumsy flyer, evolution, question mark, unintelligible, saliva, hibernates. So what does their saliva do? P-G-E, I can't read it. But now we know these things are blind. That's really important. All right, another one of these. What? Huh? What? So as we light our uh, thingamajig, it catches on fire. So don't light that thing. Where is the duct tape at? I would think there's there's a toolbox right here. I can't do anything with it. Seems like a uh is that a pit or just a yeah, that's a pit. Can't get near the pit. Where is the duct tape? Well, not finding the duct tape means that we we're able to explore this place a little bit deeper. Because I guarantee you, if we would have found the duct tape earlier, we would have never explored back here. So that's a good thing, right? Ooh. 
From a point of defense, this place has some good choke points, but overall, it's a weak setup. Should have been done under pressure. Don't know the constraints they were working under. Does that look like a detonator? Hold on, can we, uh... Anj... Anj... What's this? Let's see if I found a hammer. Someone busted that open with the hammer? So the reason I don't like looking at the secrets is because I think it's almost like metagaming. I mean, if they don't know what the hammer is, why would we know what the hammer is? And when we go into the secrets tab, it'll tell us what it is, but how, how do we know that? For me, like I said, it just feels like cheating. There's the duct tape. Duct tape cures all wounds. Duct tape and C4, the two tools you need. I found some duct tape. See if we can jumpstart this generator. All right. Where is the generator at again? Um. Wow, my brain is horrible. Where is the generator? I just realized these are lights, like spotlights. Huh. That's not the generator. Maybe on the other side. No, now he's walking that way. Okay, um... Why am I so dumb sometimes? What's this over here? Huh? Looks like someone destroyed this. Is that so no one could ever hear what they had to say? And I'm glad we got lost, because once again we found something new. Fourteenth of October, nineteen forty six. Can't say I blame them. Randolph, I trust you I trust this finds you well. Our journey to the dig has been delayed. We left some heavy equipment behind in Saran because Pullman could only hire half the men and meals needed. Workers refuse to go into the mountains. They are superstitious and cry that they will be possessed by demons. Yep. They even refuse bonus pay of two dinars each. We have also left the second generator and the spare radio behind with the agent. We should be with you by the 18th. Yours faithfully, Aline Chornel. Alright. I really want to find this generator. It's over there, isn't it? That's it. Okay. So glad to get lost sometimes, though. Because then I search for things I want to search for. I've already searched that door. Okay. I was walking that way because I thought maybe I had searched that area. Let's plug the hole. You got it? I've got it. Once you said back at the base, you were wrong. About what? sound like me. <laughs> you said nothing had changed between us. But I've changed. All that time spent away from each other. I couldn't stop thinking of you. Don't you feel the same way? Even a little? Reassuring or defiant? Reassuring. I missed you too, Eric. How could I not? You've been through so much. Pull the fuel pipe. It's done. Hey, give me a hand with this panel. <clears throat> I 
look at the state of these. They're shot. Feels like so long since we worked on something together. Same time feels like yesterday. Why do we leave things like this? I tried, but you made it so hard for me to stay. We should have stuck together. I don't think either of us expected to be out of each other's lives for so long. Past year or so, my head's been buried in Kalis, and I was blind to anything else. Respectful, cynical. Uh, be respectful. Your work is bigger than the both of us. Like, I don't think either of us could have foreseen the impact it would have. Rach. Say what's on your mind. I've missed you, Rach. Like you wouldn't believe. Back then, I don't know, things seemed confused, but now, it just seems simpler. Restrained, it's in the past. Optimistic, eh, maybe there's hope for us yet. Maybe there's hope for us after all. That is before Don't both of us die. Treasure. Let's fire up. A very horrible death. Cause some idiot picked lethal. Stupid flightless bird. <sighs> well, as I said, we tell a story no matter what happens. And I'm not someone who will tell you take backs. If we lose someone, we, we keep going. Power. There was a way in for these people. There's a way out for us. Let's take a look around. Jason, sand Karens. Great! I forgot, guns aren't gonna really work on these things, are they? It's flying bat monsters. We gotta go through it. The other way is safe. Um, um, left is always right. Move. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness, no! No, no, get off of me! Get off of me! Did that thing just blink out of existence? Rachel, Temple, 1924 hours, depth 144 feet. Let's go. Actually, I think this is a great time to call a, uh... Yeah, this is a great time to, uh... Uh, to call it. Um... Oh my gosh. Oh, man. Ooh. Oh! They just, like, transition us into that raise, and then there's a flying... Bat... Demon... Thing. Oh my god, I just realized. We're being chased by Batman. Oh, I was so screwed. All right, my friends, I love you so very much. Thank you for everything. Those things are terrifying. But they are blind. So we there, there, there may be hope for us yet. Um, maybe. All right, until next time, so long and take care. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to comment on what you saw and what you would like to see next. I always love to hear your thoughts. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more. Also, please do not forget, you matter. You are brilliant and you are loved. And you should always remember to be true to yourself. Don't let the world tell you any different. Much love to you from your friendly feathered flightless bird. Till next time.